Next, we're going to move down to the ankle. And we're going to just, again, inspect the ankle for any obvious deformity, swelling, redness, uh, bruising. And then we're going to palpate the ankle. We're going to palpate the Achilles tendon, the medial malleolus, and the lateral malleolus, and the midfoot for any tenderness or pain. Any of that bothering you, Bill? No, no. Okay, good. Then we're just going to assess the range of motion at the ankle. So I'm going to support his leg, and I'm first going to check flexion at the ankle by grasping his midfoot and pointing his foot towards his head to dorsiflex his ankle. I'm going to point it away from his head to plantar flex his ankle. I'm next going to check uh, inversion and eversion. I'm going to support the, I'm going to um, grasp the foot at the heel. And I'm going to rotate the foot towards the midline. That'll be inverting the ankle. I'm going to rotate it away from the midline. That'll be everting the ankle. I'm next going to check uh, adduction and abduction of the foot. So I'll first abduct the foot by moving the foot away from the midline. And then I'm going to adduct the foot and move it toward the midline. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the range of motion of the hip. We're first going to look at flexion. I'm, just going to, I'm going to flex your hip up and then bend your knee. And try to, we're going to try to flex this as far up in the abdomen as you can. And you should normally get about 130 degrees of flexion here at the hip. And have you straighten your leg out. And then pick your leg up with the knee extended. And then you should normally get about close to 90 degrees of, flex, of flexion here. And Bill's got good loose hamstrings, so he's uh, pretty limber. Um, now we're going to go ahead and check for internal and external rotation. So I'm going to bend your hip and bend your knee to about 90 degrees. I'm going to internally rotate the leg and sort of paradoxically when you internally rotate the leg the foot goes to the outside. And when you externally rotate the hip now the foot's going to go to the inside. Okay, any soreness or pain yep. there? Sorry. Okay, good. I'm going to uh, abduct or abduct the leg at, at the hip. So I'm going to pull the, the, uh, the hip away from the midline. Okay. I'm going to adduct the hip and pull it towards the across his body until the pelvis starts to come up off the other, off the table and, when, and he's just starting to rotate now so we'll stop there. Okay. I'm not going to go ahead and take a look at extension of the hip while he's standing. This is a fairly easy way to do that. So Bill, if you could just move to the table and uh, oh, um, I'll hold it up for you. Okay. If you could just sort of support yourself here sure. so we don't lose your balance and try to stand up straight. I'm just going to reach down and um, support your leg and I'm just going to extend this back. And you would ex expect this to extend back about 20 or 30 degrees. Um, thanks. Well, you can also do that in the in the prone position. And we're going to go ahead and uh, first just inspect the knee, looking at the patella, at the bony landmarks, at the both at the uh, the normal concavities on either side of the patella and below. The